What's going on guys, Oboe Shoes Games here with a quick review of Bionicle the Quest game. This game was released in 2006 by the LEGO company to promote the upcoming Bionicle sets. It's for ages 8 and up, designed for 2-6 players, and without further ado, let's take a look inside. Inside the box, we have the instruction manual, very basic instructions, any kid can understand them. We also have this beautifully rendered depiction of the Isle of Voya Nui from the 2006 Bionicle storyline, and uh, this board actually has a pretty neat surprise I'll show you guys later. We also have a YouTube 100,000 subscriber play button, very cool. And last but not least, the actual game pieces. This game comes with a catapult, several of these little Toa figurines, and these are actually exclusive to this board game, so it's really cool to get these. It also comes with this nice portrait of Paraka Heikan. And last but not least, there's these cards, which feature some interesting in-game scenarios. The game begins with each player picking their favorite Toa character, placing them on the top or bottom of the board, and then taking turns rolling a dice to see how many spaces they move per turn. The first player to reach the middle of the map wins the first phase of the game. Once a player reaches the middle of the map, the player tokens are removed and the entire game board opens up, revealing a much more intricate second phase of the game. This phase of the game functions much the same as the first phase, with players taking turns rolling a dice to see how many spaces they move. The only difference is that when landing on a green spot, you can draw a quest card. These cards contain random events which are used to spice up the game. Some of these cards tell you to fight the dastardly Paraka Heikan, which you do using the included catapult. Simply load the catapult and shoot Heikon in the face. This serves no purpose, but it is kind of fun. The first player to reach the center of the map is victorious. They win the YouTube play button, which they then use to bludgeon the other players to death. As you can probably tell, Bionicle the Quest game is a total RNG fest, which means the game is just not very good. The only thing that makes this game worth buying is the YouTube play button, which does look nice on the shelf along with your other useless accolades like a media production degree and a third place award you won in the spelling bee in 5th grade. On a scale of a Baraki squid launcher to a Mydak sky blaster, Bionicle the Quest game gets... A Rahaga's Rituka Spinner. 